In this video, I'll show you how you can connect to AWS Relational Database Service Postgres instance from your local machine if your RDS machine is not publicly accessible. And you can do that with the SSH tunneling via Bastion Host. Bastion Host, or in other words, Jump Server, will be an EC2 instance. This is an instance that forwards requests between your local machine and RDS and back from RDS to the local machine. The process starts by first opening an SSH tunnel to the EC2 instance. Then the local machine makes a request to the EC2. EC2 forwards that request to the RDS. RDS will process it, respond to the EC2. EC2 forwards the response back to the local machine. And that's how it works. So basically, SSH tunneling lets you securely access remote services by making them available on your local computer as if they were running locally. As a prerequisite, I need an EC2 instance that is in the same VPC as the RDS instance and the RDS is not publicly available. As an example, I'll create a Postgres RDS instance. And I need to connect to the EC2 instance pointed to the same VPC. For this example, I created an EC2 micro instance. And let's create an RDS. You can connect to your RDS instance over SSH tunnel bastion host with this command. If you didn't configure a passwordless login, you would append path to your PAM. If you don't know how to configure a passwordless login, take a look at my other tutorial. This is the target RDS server. And it's a database server instance which runs on port 5432. I port forwarded the 5432 to 5433 because 32 is already taken. And the last part of the command is the jump server, in our case, the EC2 instance. And when I run an enter, it port forwards. To test my port forwarding, I will try to connect to the instance. It's already as if it were running on a local host, but 5433. And you have to specify the host name, the port, because we've taken port 5433 for port forwarding. Our username is Postgres. And let's specify the password that I set up on the server. And I'm now working directly on the RDS server instance. These are the databases that are installed by default when you create a new RDS Postgres instance. Now, while you have your SSH tunnel still open, you can also make a connection, same connection via Postgres admin. Let's name it RDS test. Connection is 5433. And the host name is localhost because we've port forwarded it. And password, the password you set on RDS instance. Now let's see how we can connect to RDS instance over data grip. Create a new data source called Postgres. And here you would need to specify the RDS address. 
and our RDS address is this one. It is working on 5432. User and pass for this what you specify on RDS. And we need to configure an SSH tunnel. It is our EC2 instance. And it is our key pair that we configured for passwordless login. And that is OK. And local port will be 5433 because 32 is already taken. And we've established the connection to the RDS instance. Other way how you can connect to data grip is that you don't need to specify SSH tunnel with the settings in the data grip. You can open an SSH tunnel in one terminal, for example, the previously mentioned command for opening the tunnel. Okay, this address is already in use. Let's use 5434. And now you can connect, you can also connect to Postgres by specifying just localhost. credentials and we've port forwarded to 5434 and we've successfully connected to the RDS instance with this other method.